Hi guys, it's Claris, and today I am going to show you um, how to do heart cookies. And uh, this is going to be the last Valentine's Day themed tutorial I'm doing for the year. So I know I've been doing a lot of hearts and florals, and so these are going to be cookies, which are also my favorite. So to start off, I have uh, basically sketched out basic hearts and kind of done an outline on the inside and the outside. They're not perfect because cookies aren't really perfect hearts. So, and also this is like loose watercolor, so you don't want it to be super perfect. Now, um, I'm using Arches Cold Press and for my paints, I'm using some of my new Daniel Smith. And uh, it's also a mixture of uh, Daniel Smith for my colors, uh, I mean my inner coloring of the cookie. And then for the outer cookie itself, I'm using a little bit of the yellow brown from my St. Petersburg White Knights. And for brushes, I am going to be using my number six and just to get the outline for the cookie. And then I am also going to be using my newest and latest uh, Princeton Neptune number eight. Uh, and I'll use that to kind of lay in the color on the inside and dab all the colors. I might use, uh, I might use a, the silver black velvet in the four just to add like dab color here and there. So I'll just keep it on standby. But for now, these are my three brushes that I'm using. So let's begin. And to begin off, uh, to start off, I am going to do the outer cookie area uh, and just making sure that I don't get it on the inside of the second heart. So I have some color on my brush already and I have some color mixed on my palette. So I'm just going to start this way. And let me just do a quick check to make sure that camera is clear. Fabulous, and you guys can see everything, perfect. So I'm just gonna start painting on the inside and see, now this is a little bit too dark for me, so I will use the number four and I'm just gonna take water on it and just spread the color out. That's literally all I'm going to be using it for, just so I can spread out the yellow and so it doesn't look too much of a flat color, like a, a solid consistent color, because cookies you want to you want to give it that, oh it's a little bit dark here because it's cooked nicely here, or inconsistency in the color. And so I'm just going to spread that around. And I'll spread that around here some more. And if I have some white space that I'm leaving, um, I, I'm not going to worry about that because I would like to kind of give it that loose look, like light is touching it. Uh, I'll pick my area for shadows so I can kind of determine where the light is coming from and I'll tell you guys that in a moment. Give me a second. So I've decided um, I'm going to introduce one more yellow just to kind of indicate the shadow area that I was talking about. Uh, and not necessarily a yellow. I'm going to do a slightly darker brown. And for that, I'm going to show you which one I'm using. For that, I'm just going to use this brown. I'm just going to mix it on here just to make sure it's okay. And that's fine because I'm not going to be using it to the extent that it's going to spread all over. So I just want it to be very light but just like a dab in areas to kind of indicate crispness of the cookie or brownness of the cookie however you want to label that and I'm going to add it here too So 
So I've clearly picked the left side of my cookie to be a darker area. I'm just going to take a slight bit and just put that on there just so it doesn't look like only one side has those browns so I just want to put a little bit of lighter one shade on here okay and I'm going to end it right there and then I'm going to start on the inside now we have to be really careful about the inside because we have these edges that some of them might still be damp. So I will use um, the Princeton brush to make sure that I can get a nice quick spread of water. So just using my Princeton number eight, I'm just going to color in using water and then just making sure I'm not touching the edges too much. I'm just doing half of the area and you'll see why. And now I'm going to go in and get my red that I have and I'm going to get as much color as I can and I'm just going to, this area is slightly damp and I'm just going to Go ahead and lay it on. Right, and now I will take my number four and I'm going to continue watering the rest of this. Again, making sure that we're not touching the edges so we don't bleed into the cookie area for now. And you want to keep some um, loosey-goosey areas in there, that's totally fine. And I'm going to mix some of the red that I have here with the blue, and I'm going to try and get some nice purple. But I think that was too much blue, I need maybe slightly more red. So let me get my red. Did I put it back in? I can't find my red, guys. Oh, give me a second. What did I do with my red? Hmm. Oh, it's right there. Didn't see it. So I'm just going to add slightly more. A little goes a long way for Daniel Smith. So not to add too much and now this area is still damp so I'm just gonna go in and just dab it on and then dab it on to different areas as well the areas that are slightly damp and maybe to the edges and this is the air this is the part where you have fun because you're laying on color and you want it to spread so you just need to make sure that there's enough dampness number one number two um, that you're getting it at the right time when it's still fairly damp that it's able to kind of mix around and also number three is when uh, making sure that the colors blend well because if they don't really blend well then you might get some really nasty um, combinations like a brown or something that you might not really want so just make sure that you have some good water consistency as well and swish it around so I really like how this consistency has turned out I'm gonna add some in here as well like this area is already fairly dry as you can see but I'm just adding a little bit because I can get away with it 
and then I have a little bit of this blue I might just add some blue as well let's just see what it looks like it's the blue with the pink and the purple might kind of be nice or it might not we'll see when it dries but um, yeah in the deep purple I'll add some blue there as well just kind of own this decision I've made that I add this blue in so it kind of looks like a unicorn cookie almost um, so yeah this is my cookie and this is how you do it guys I am going to finish the other two in a time lapse so you enjoy that uh, just so I don't make this video too long for you guys and uh, I'll show you guys how um, that transitions once it is completely dried so thanks so much for watching guys i'm just going to say goodbye right now and then you can watch the time lapse right after um as always please subscribe uh if you like my videos i am on instagram and facebook as well so please feel free to follow me there or just send me um the images that you guys end up doing if you're comfortable to do so because i absolutely love hearing from you guys and i love seeing uh the things you guys come up with just from watching my videos so thanks guys and we'll chat soon. Bye.